joining me on the show is Ness Vadia, co-owner of Punjab Kings. Uh, Ness, uh, thank you very much for joining us on the broadcast. Your first reaction to the value of the bids. Good evening, Rika. I hope all is well with you and the family and everyone. Uh, I think it's it's um, it's long overdue. I think um, it was unfortunate in 2010 when we had two teams come in mm -hmm. at large amounts of money and then um, they couldn't pay. Um, I think uh, it's without doubt one of the most established leagues in the world. It's got the largest viewership and it's high time that it uh, received the accolades and the evaluation that it did. Mm -hmm. And I think um, it's amazing how BCCI and, you know, the entire support staff, um, you know, everyone included, I think, uh, has done a phenomenal job and uh, very happy that it's finally getting the value that it deserves. Now, you spent about 350 crore in 2008. Let me ask you, what is the expected value of Punjab Kings right now? The expected value is 7,000 crores, right? I mean, that's the, that's, the, that's the threshold. In fact, it might even be more because if you look at the calculations and you work it out, we have positive cash flow. So tomorrow, if someone were to invest in Punjab Kings or any of the other franchises with, which might be available for investment, we have a constant uh, cash flow at the moment without any outflow. So as you've said in your screen, hmm. 375 to 6,000 is wrong. So you've taken an average, uh, right. but an, again, an average would have been about 63 hmm. between four, five, four, nine, five and, and 7,000. Mm -hmm. But listen, you know, I mean, the point is that any current franchise is currently cash positive. We've got a very strong balance sheet, a very strong, consistent inflow. Many businesses across the world, any any business, I mean, if you if, if you can turn on and say, okay, I'm guaranteed this amount of income mm -hmm. per year, plus or minus 5%, mm -hmm. very few businesses can, can boast of that. Tell us, how has the business of IPL been? Realistically, how long would it take for these two franchises to recover costs? <sighs> that, is, that is anyone's guess. I, I, I'm... I haven't really thought about it. I know it took us um, in those days, I mean, right from 2008, probably about probably about nine years mm -hmm. to, to break even. Um, but I think things have changed. You know, the media rights are coming up again. Um, I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll go for a staggering amount again. The IPL is now in its 14th season. Right. It's well established. It's one of the only leagues. And I, I think, uh, you know, again, you know, I, I don't want to sound like someone who's commending them too much, but, you know, uh, credit has to be given, A, to the BCCI and, and B, to the Indian cricketers uh, who have really persevered mm -hmm. through all these bubbles. I, I think I, I can't praise and thank them enough. It's, it's incredible what the players have done for Indian cricket and what the BCCI has managed to pull off during two seasons of COVID where across the world, mm. every single league has been either shortened or postponed. True. Um, and we've just sailed through. So I think it's, it's, it's an incredible India uh, story, which, uh, you know, should be given the respect it deserves globally. You know, you just mentioned about the TV rights deal. Can you put a number? Because last time it was around 16,000 crore rupees. Your guess is as, as good as mine. I mean, you're in the media, um, you know, Rika, so you would know better. But listen, you know, it's, 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 it's growing. Uh, it's moving up. I mean, if you go by, by only what was done earlier, um, chances are it could go close to double. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, one final question. Any retention rule that has been shared with the franchises till now? And what about the right to match card? Can you get KL Rahul back as your captain? Well, there are many players apart from KL Rahul, firstly. Uh, one player doesn't make up a team. I've always said that. Having said that, uh, every player has, has a value. And, uh, you know, one thing I will say is that we've learned to adjust and adapt throughout. Um, I think any team which hinges too much on, on one player, uh, that does prove beyond a point a liability. I think KL is exemplary in, in anything and everything he's done. Uh, the way he's fought back from uh, really, uh, you know, going through a lot of issues two years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, he's one of the only cricketers who's, who's, who's consistent, 
is an all-rounder. Um, but like I said, you know, cricket is about 11 uh, team members, not about one. Mm. And I think as far as right to match or retention, whatever happens, we're ready for it. Mm. That's the IPL. We've learned to adjust, adapt and, 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 and go forward and keep smiling. Well, uh, Ness, all I can say is keep smiling because other than the BCCI, you guys, the ones who had originally bought the team, are laughing your way to the bank right now. Thank you, thank you very much for joining us on the broadcast. Thank you. Thanks, Rika.